Pedersen, Hughes, Demko, Jeff Patterson. It's our Bodog poll question today. Is that the best forward defense goaltender trio the Canucks have ever had? It's got the potential to be, but I'm going to go with the tried and true. And when you've got Henrik Sedin, who has won league awards, and you've got Roberto Luongo, who got them to a Game 7 in the Stanley Cup Final, as a team, they won President's Trophies. Now the question is the defenseman. And certainly this Mm -hmm. modern version, Quinn Hughes, I think he stands alone, but I'm still going to go whether it was Edler or Ham Hughes, uh, Christian Ehrhoff, throw in BX, uh, take your pick of the defenseman from that era. I'm going to go with that era as the top trio. It's almost as good a debate within the debate to debate who from that 2011 team would be the representative on defense. You've got a lot of options, as you mentioned. Let me ask you this in place, devil's advocate. At Manage Miss is... Hank relied so much on Daniel Sedin. Do you want to give Elias Pettersson extra credit for not having to do it with somebody who's played his entire life with? Uh, they don't look alike, but I think Andre Kuzmenko has been a pretty good complimentary piece for Pettersson this year. So uh, mm-hmm. Henrik had the one year where Daniel missed the 30 games and all of a sudden Hank morphed into a goal scorer as well. And I think mm-hmm. uh, he would prove or use that as proof that he was all right. Mm-hmm. As much as he liked having Danny there, he was okay on his own. Yeah, I'm with you. I give Hank a little bit of an edge over Elias Pettersson right now. I mean, heck, 113 points in a league MVP says something. I give Roberto a little bit of an edge over Thatcher Demko at this point. But before we forget, shout out Kirk McLean, Yurke Lumi, and Pavel Bure, because that was a pretty good trio from the 94 Cup team as well.